Hello again. Glad to be with you. Today I'm going to sing four songs about conversations. Uh, mostly between lovers or would-be lovers. The first one's called Darling Annie and is very old-fashioned in some of its principles. Ewan and I used to sing it together and you can get a version of the two of us singing it. You can download it from my website for the next couple of days. I'm, I've put it there so that you can hear it as it should have been sung because I'm going to sing it to you in three different keys. I'm going to sing his part in F and my part in A and the chorus in G. It'll be a bit disorienting but then Ewan's in my life will probably disorient you as well. So, uh, <laughs> he, he, he was the only man who ever asked me to marry him. And he, he said, Peg, I love you, I love you, I love you so much, I'll even marry you. So that's why we didn't marry for 20 years. And when we finally did, our second son, Callum, was age 15 and he was killing himself with laughter sitting there while his parents got married finally. So here's Darling Annie in three different keys. There he is asking me. If you'll marry me, I'll give you everything I have. You won't ever need to earn a penny. I will be your man and the ring upon your hand will tell the world that you're my darling Annie. Dearest love, I'll be glad to add your wages onto mine. I can work and keep myself so handy. You can be my man without a golden wedding band, for I'll tell the world that I'm your Annie. Chorus, for it's love, love will hold us, love is everything. Who could dream of anything that's better? Not the vow, not the string, not the golden wedding ring. Just you, love, you and me together. If you'll marry me, I will give to you my name. It will shield you from idle talk and envy For when you play the game you're secure from any blame Not ashamed to be my darling Annie Thank you love, I'm grateful for the offer of your name But my own will do as well as any I don't like the game, and the rules would make me tame. Not the same girl you married, not your Annie. For it's love, love will hold us, love is everything. Who could dream of anything that's better? Not the vow, not the string, not the golden wedding ring. Just you, love, you and me. If you'll marry me, we'll get a house and settle down. A place to call our own, so neat and canny. With a family and a home, love, you'll never feel alone. Left on the shelf, a spinster darling Annie. Dearest love, we could surely find a place to call our own. All we need is influence and money But I don't need a ring or a house or anything To become a mother or a granny For it's love, love will hold us, love is everything Who could dream of anything that's better Not the vow, not the string, not the gold wedding ring. Just you love you and me together. At last we found something we could agree on and get married. If you'll marry me I will be faithful.
peaceful unto death. You will have all my love and my attention. We will care, we will share life in sickness and in health. And when I die, you can draw the widow's pension. It was actually a change in tax laws. I will live with you and I'll be faithful unto death. We will share all the burdens we must carry. We'll always be free, me for you and you for me. But when we're old, love, maybe we should marry. Are you still with me? For it's love, love will hold us, love is everything. Who could dream of anything that's better? Not the vow, not the string, not the golden wedding ring. Just you, love, you and me together. And I'll tell you, learning to sing that in three different keys and singing his part, which I never sung before, <laughs> that was almost as bad as trying to play classical music and making a mistake. Uh, the next song is, uh, has a history. The tune comes from an American song called The Romish Lady. I didn't like the text. Uh, it had a Catholic woman being burnt at the stake, and I just thought that was not the right thing to sing about. So I looked up a new text, a heterosexual one called The Two Strangers, and then I decided, well, why not make it into a same-sex song, you know? So this is The Two Strangers, a new version that I made up. As I walked out one evening, early in spring, the birds in the desert so sweetly did sing. I overheard a woman a singing her song, sing, I am a stranger far from my Her song was of Ireland, her voice was fine and clear. I stepped up to her, her story for to hear. I asked of her pardon and made myself known. I too am a stranger, far from my home. She greeted me kindly, and unto me did say, What is your reason for wandering this way? Come tell me your story, I'll tell you my own, For we are two strangers far from our home. did say, till sickness overcame him, and death did us betray. Our children are grown now with children of their own, and I am a wanderer traveling alone. She said, I'm from Ireland. But home's wherever I dwell, and thus it's been with Ireland since England us befell. My friends are all scattered, my family has flown, so many of our people far from our home. Your journey will be easier, your step be sure and free. Your burden will be lighter if you travel with me. No more to be a wandering, no more to be alone. No more to be a stranger. 
traveling alone I will be your lover I will be your friend Trees that stand entwined are hard to break or bend Contented and happy We'll live here alone No more to be two strangers Far from our home No more to be two strangers Far from our home Yeah. There's a lot of dialogue songs uh, in in folk songs, and this is one I particularly like. It's called The Courting Case. We have a number of songs where marriage is proposed and, as a dialogue, is either accepted or refused. Often riches are on one side as a, as a hook, you know. So, um, this is called The Courting Case, and uh, it's unaccompanied. Oh, madam, I'm a courting case for you I've laid and swound. For you I'd give up all my gold if it was ten thousand pound, pound if it was ten thousand pound. Oh, yes, you are a courting case like many I have seen. If you think this is courting, sir, I guess you're mighty green, green, I mess you're mighty green. Oh, madam, I have a very fine house. It's painted white inside. I'll put that at your command if you will be my bride, bride, if you will be my bride. Oh, yes, I know your very fine house, also your very fine yard. Who will stay with me at night when you're out playing cards, cards, when you're out playing cards? Madam, I have a very fine horse. His pace is like the tide. If you'll consent to marry me, you may have him to ride, ride, you may have him to ride. Yes, I know you're a very fine horse, the horse that knows no harm. His master loves to drink and gamble, I'm feared the horse would learn, learn, I'm feared the horse would learn. I'm going to interrupt here to say the courtship used to be a matter of art, of laying your, 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 laying your case out. And if it was in a poor family and the lover came to visit, uh, and there may maybe be only one room, the family would draw away to a corner and the courting couple would sit together at the fire and he'd have to be really artful. So this man in this song is trying to figure, he's getting a little bit artful and trying to make the case bigger, you know. Oh, madam, I have a very fine field, it's 60 acres wide. I'll put that at your command if you will be my bride, bride, if you will be my bride. Yes, I know your very fine field, also your very fine fruit. If I come in, I'll turn you out, for they say a hog will root, root, they say a hog will root. Madam, you're a saucy jade and very hard to please. When you get old and the weather is cold, I hope to God you freeze, freeze, I hope to God you freeze. While I am young, my nimble tongue will keep me out of harm. When I get old and the weather is cold, my clothes will keep me warm, warm, my clothes will keep me warm. Madam, you have your curly hair. I have got my land. Madam, you have your coal black eyes. It's keep them and be damned, damned. It's keep them and be damned. <laughs> yes, I have my curly hair. Yes, you have your land. Yes, I have my coal black eyes. And I am another man's man's. And I am another man's. Yeah. I think I know one song where she accepts... Uh, uh, she doesn't accept the riches until he offers the key to his chest where he keeps his money. And then she, she finally says yes. So I'm ending with um, a song that made Callum, my second son, and I made up. Uh, it's about a common sight that you see. I uh, used to see it in restaurants when we could sit close to each other, but now you see it uh, six feet apart. In other words... Two people who are obviously a couple, and they're both on their phones. They're sitting over a meal, and they're on their phones. They're sitting at a table, 
and they're on their phones. Um, so we call this song, uh, We Are Here. Normally I sing this with Callum, and so I'm hoping that I will remember it. I'll have to sing his part. So I may be looking sometimes over at a text that reminds me what Callum would normally sing. Most of my songs, I do try to sing them. Let's see, I think I need a paper clip on this one. Okay, yeah. Most of the songs I try to sing by without any text. It feels better that way. So many ways to say the same old things. And one way to listen, really listen. So many ways to forget who we are, you and me. And one way to remember, one way to see. Oh, are you listening? Me on my phone, you on your phone. We're sitting in the bar, together apart, together alone. I'm posting a selfie, and you start to laugh and show me a clip of a cat falling off a table. I laugh too. Well, it is funny. But we don't talk anymore. We don't walk anymore. Look at me, be with me, I am here. You are here, we are here, we are here. So many ways to hate, distrust, divide, exclude. One way to tell all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. So many little lies tell one big truth about a liar. It's easy to start a forest fire. Hard to put it out. You're texting your mom, and I start to laugh and show you an orange man strutting off the edge of the world. You start to laugh. Then you start to cry. We don't talk anymore. We don't walk anymore. Look at me, be with me, I'm here. You are here. We are here, we are all here, we are here. Are we listening? Really listening? I use my phone for telephoning, and this week, uh, contacting the gas board about a bill that was paid twice, I had a really interesting conversation with the woman at the uh, call center. I often just ask them, I say, you, uh, you have a bit of an accent, uh, where are you speaking from? And it's anywhere over the whole world. And they're usually pleased to be asked, and I say, how are you doing, and uh, are you safe from COVID? And, so uh, the other day I had a really very interesting uh, talk with a woman in the Philippines. Uh, she's already had two of her uh, friends sick with COVID. So uh, you're out there. I'm in here. I try each week to hold a conversation with you. And it's probably a figment of my imagination, but I, I really sometimes feel as if I am talking to you. Uh, 
I really miss the concerts. I miss all of the group meeting that we have in towns and but it will it will it will end. So uh, we're all definitely here and I'll stop chattering to you. Uh, thank you for singing on the chorus. I did hear you. And with that last song, I missed out a line. You can hear the whole thing on our new CD, uh, which will be available on April 9th. Uh, you can go to the Bandcamp site and you'll be able, after April 9th, to get it physically and also digitally. So I'll see you next week. Can't remember what I'm going to talk about, but it'll be something different. Bye-bye <laughs> now.